Well, I'd like to show you something with a deck of marked cards. Now, you can see they're marked cards because, well, they say marked cards. But these cards are marked in a very unique way. You know, John, if I gave you this card and I said, look for the marks, you would examine the back pattern and to see, and see if you could find any kind of distinguishing mark that would tell me that's an ace of hearts. But you won't see anything because I mark them on the edge. These are edge marked cards. I mark them with an invisible or a translucent ink and I have special lenses in my glasses and I can see the marks, but no one else can. You know, when I tell people that though, no one really believes me. So to demonstrate, I mark the balance of the cards with black ink so that you can see the marks on the edge even if you don't have special lenses in your glasses. Now if you take a close look at the cards, you can see they're, well, they're all mixed up. Red and black, hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. And I'm going to have one card selected from the deck. So as I drop the cards, would you do me a favor and just say stop? Right there? Now look at the card, remember the name of that card. I'm going to place your card in the deck and I'm going to lose it in the deck with what I call an unshuffle. It's just the opposite of shuffling cards. You see, to perform an unshuffle, I divide the deck exactly in half. Let me check. Perfect. 26 and 26. I can tell by the weight. And then I give the cards a perfect unshuffle with every card interwoven between every other card. And if I've shuffled the cards perfectly, you can see the deck now starts to read unshuffled four times on the side of the deck. Now that means these cards have been unshuffled into four different categories, hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. But if I give the cards another perfect unshuffle, 26, 26, perfect. I really can tell by the weight. And if I unshuffle the cards, you see the cards are being unshuffled now into two categories. All the red cards are in one group and all the black cards are in the other. Now, I'll give the cards one final unshuffle. And at, oh, oh wait. Okay, you know what, I, I made a little mistake. This is a little heavier than this. John, you can probably see from the angle, how many off do you think I am? Just two? You're right. Yeah, actually, it's a two of hearts. I kind of cut you a break on that one. But if I give the cards one final unshuffle, as you can see, this deck of cards is completely unshuffled. And if it says unshuffled, I have to show you that they are, in fact, unshuffled. If you take a look, Ace through king, hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. Every card is now in perfect, brand new deck order. Oh, there is one minor detail. In the beginning, John, you selected a card. It's somewhere here in the unshuffled deck. I won't look for your card face up because they're all sequential. It wouldn't impress you. I could find it very quickly. Instead, I'll try to find your card face down. What was the name of your card? The eight of hearts? That's about 17 cards down from the top of the deck. Watch closely. If I give the cards one more, unshuffle. Take a look. Because there it is. If I rearrange the cards, your eight of hearts. You see, I get you the answers you need every single time. Thank you.